Hey guys, I'm so irritated starting this video because I've already made this video twice and I was wearing a different shirt and it just kept falling down and then like my bra was showing and I didn't realize it because this is a camera, not a webcam. So I can't see what's going on and so I didn't want to flash the entire world my undergarments. So <laughs> I already made this video and now I'm trying to make it again, um, but whatever. So, and the reason I'm using my camera is because, as I have lamented many times, uh, my webcam is terrible and the lighting is terrible. So I'm in my walk-in closet, um, which is kind of like a room. So here I am, and I'm going to make this video here. And hopefully, maybe I can find a better location um, to do videos from now on or, or get a new webcam or something. But anyways, the point of this video is I wanted to talk about weather and climate and how that can affect mood and stuff. Because I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Um, because I live in a place where it is really cold and really dark for about half of the year, at least. And so it's not like, oh, it's just, it gets a little bit cold um, for a short period of time and then it gets better. Like, it is just extreme. And actually, people who move here often have an issue with the weather and there's something called SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, if you've never heard of it, and it happens quite frequently here because they say it's because of the lack of light. Um, but I think it's just like the climate in general. It's not only the lack of light, but it's just the extreme cold. And you put all that together, it makes it really just inhospitable to live here. And it's weird also because I, I think people with mood issues already are more sensitive to the weather um, as like a trigger for either you know going up or going down but you know the dark and the cold is certainly gonna influence people to go down and become depressed um, because it can be very isolating and that's another thing that is a big trigger for depression is being isolated um, and I, I kind of wonder if it's mainly people who already have a predisposition to have a problem with mood or if it could happen to anyone um i'm not really sure because like there's a girl that sits next to me in one of my classes and i'm always complaining to her about the weather every time i go in i'm just like because there's big windows in this room and it's you know you can see how gray it is and how just some days the weather is like blizzarding you know and it's like oh and so I'm always complaining, like, look how crappy this weather is. How, you know, coming in here is a nightmare. And she's like, oh, I grew up here, so I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. It's like, I grew up here too. <laughs> but it certainly bothers me a lot. So who knows? But my dad is the same way. He grew up here, cold, dark environment. And I've asked him, don't you get incredibly depressed in the winter? Doesn't it really bother you? No, I'm fine. It's like he's 60 years old and he still gets out all the time and I'm like I'm half your age dad and like I don't want to go out because it is miserable like walking to and from your car to the store you got to bundle up in all this gear so you don't get frostbite you know it's like that's just one thing to complain about but it really makes you want to stay in and so it it's just a pain and definitely for me, it contributes to depression and it contributes to bad, bad mood. Um, and it's kind of sad. And so I kind of think that one of my goals for the future when I'm done with school, because I really need to finish school here, I don't want to try to transfer to some other school. Um, I'm not even going to get into that, but I really don't want to do that. So I want to finish my bachelor's here. And... After that, I really seriously have started to think about moving. Um, I don't know how <laughs> I'll be able to do it, but I think to myself, I can't endure this. I just can't for the rest of my life. I hate it here. I flat out hate it where I live. And I can't deal with the cold and the dark and the isolation anymore, and I don't want to. Um, and I've lived in other places too, even though I grew up here, you know, I went away and came back. Um, mainly because my family members and friends at the time. But I've lived in other better places than this, and 
I noticed that my mood was better. <laughs> my mood was a lot better being in a place that is not harsh and that I can see the sun all the time. I can go outside. I can go for walks. I can go to the beach, right? Like, whatever it happens to be. Like, I could just sit on my balcony and just look outside, feel the warm wind on my face. Like, those types of things really affect me in a positive way. And so, I am a person that my environment plays a huge, huge part in my mental state. It's not all just up here, randomly. Um, and so I guess I was just curious about other people and what do you, how do you feel about your environment? Um, are you in a good environment for you? A bad environment? Is it too cold? Too hot? Like, how does that affect your mood? Um, cause I remember years ago somebody saying that they lived in a really hot place and that made them depressed cause it was too hot. Um, I don't experience that. I don't think anything's too hot pretty much. <laughs> Um, but that's because I'm so used to the freezing cold, and I hate the cold, so the opposite is hot. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my two cents on this topic, and what do you guys think? Weather. Weather as a trigger. Weather as an effector of mood. Um, comment, as always. <laughs>